Alright, hello everyone, my name is Easley Sun, and welcome back to some more Alan Wake. Trying out something different here with the face cam. Technically, it's not all too different, it's a style that you all might have seen before. But anyway, let's get back into Bright Falls, shall we? It's been a while, and it's about damn time that I get back into this. I literally went on like a good drought from, <laughs> from this game. From the last time we played. I don't even... I honestly didn't even remember that we were here. I thought we were at the start of a chapter or something. Anyway. <clears throat> having resolved to try to find a vehicle from the train depot. Wake heads for it. Alrighty. I... This way. According to the destination marker. Do we... I don't know where we head. This way? Alright, this isn't uh, American Nightmare where people might be behind us. Can't see. Whoa! Almost dropped some stuff. I was about to say if you hear something falling, it's probably my cat because he's trying to lie down with me on my PC, as my cat likes to do. In fact, while I try to look around if there's any secret goodies, let's let Mr. Wake stand here for a bit. Let's let it. Never mind, you can't face him. Let's look at the beautiful nightlife of the forest in Bright Falls, and let's take a little look. You see, there you go. You can see a little bit of him. There he is. Look at this little man. <laughs> He's busy licking himself. Look at this boy. <laughs> All right, cat break over. Let's resituate ourselves. Accidentally folded this. Let's go. <clears throat> I doubt there's anything up here, but it doesn't hurt to try because it's letting me come up here. Alright. This is high up here. Like, really high up. <laughs> <clears throat> well, if there is nothing, I'm definitely going to speed up past this point. But if there is, I'm keeping you all on for the red. We shall see. Oh my goodness, kitty. <laughs> Going with the deep stretching. Oh, right here. Looks like there's probably nothing. That I wasted my time and y'all's time coming up here. But we get to look at the moon. Lovely. Unless there is something up here. <gasps> Look at that. A coffee thermos. <laughs> I almost walked off the edge. <laughs> is that it? There is a signal tower up here. So there might be more. Let's see. Coming on up to the west side. A man's guest. Look at that, there's something glowy over here. Flare? And a page! Nice! Definitely worth it. Walter fights Danny. Danny had stepped out, but what stumbled back in was something else. Something alien. A monster. Walter mm -hmm. tried to kill it. First with his fists, then a chair. Nice. It wouldn't die. Instead, it kept coming. Unaffected by the beating it had taken. After Walter managed to kick it down the cellar stairs, fear took over. He ran, got behind the wheel, gunned the engine. The booze wouldn't make him forget, but he knew he had to try. Nice. Is that the guy from the uh, police station? I actually don't... I think that's his name, right? Danny or something? Look at me. With my really good memory. Can we climb this? 
Can I actually get in there? No. I'm, I'm stupid. I thought there was a ladder here for some reason. Anyway, that's itty. So I'll speed up until we get back down and resume going to the waypoint. See ya! Oh, mm -hmm. interesting. I was about to speed it up, but I got attacked by birds. Oh. What the heck? Oh, it was random, dude. Okay. From my trouble of getting a coffee thermos and a page, I get attacked by birds. Alright, back to speeding up. More birds! Birds like it, though. I can't move my mouse super fast because my cat's trying to lie down on me. On my hand. Very chill, cat. He tried to bite my finger. You, if you, if you would have seen it. <laughs> you cat. Showed you. All right, two waves of birds now. This is gonna be fun editing later. <laughs> Very nice. All right, we're finally back down. What? No. Can you do not? Do I even have enough ammo for this? Cutie, you may be pressed too early. I have only one bullet. Great. Hope you're happy, cutie. I have flashbangs and flares. It's gonna do for now, I guess. Generate anything? Oh! Um, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. Get over here. Ow. Well, this isn't the light that heals me, but. Okay, it runs out. The darkness controls the taken. I am very aware of that, thank you very much. I didn't mean to sound sarcastic. I just know. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got the like, cinematic, baby. Ow. Boom. Shut you up. Get him ass tuned. <laughs> I missed some of There you go. You need that for achievements and stuff, don't uh, ask why. Achievement? I guess collectible maybe? I don't even know if there's an actual achievement for it or not. But anyway. Nice. I don't really have to turn all these on. There's another way that like branches off. There's this tree thing that I could... Aha, I can go up it. <gasps> <Phil. laughs> get up. Get up back on it. 
get a back though. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Mmm. Do it again. Just gonna. Do <laughs> there we go. Get up. I'll get up on it. There we go. No gingerly. Where are you? Is there even anything up here? <laughs> I'm going to persist. Welcome to the episode, guys, where we don't actually make too much progress. So I just keep going and branching off to see if there is collectibles and pages and stuff. Haha, <laughs> -ha, we made it. And there's nothing. Uh, job done. I took damage from that. I'm sad. Alright, we're not gonna follow the waypoint again. Okay, good, it's closed, so I don't have to go up a whole mountain again. But there's a page. Get the revolver out. Another page, you can see. The bulldozer's engine roared to life. Mud and Excuse me? It fought for traction. It crashed through the concrete wall and landed heavily in the yard. If it were an animal, it would have shaken its head after the impact, fixed its eyes on me. Charged. Of course, it had no head, nor eyes. Shadows crawled on its form, twisting it into a monster. Then it came for me. Alright, we're gonna get attacked by a possessed bulldozer. Very nice. It's gonna be fun, huh? <laughs> Let's have the flare out for that. Excuse me. I don't like that sound. Thank you. Now I will not go into the forest. Into the trees. I'm good. Another page. Nice, nice. Sarah, Sarah Distrust, Nightingale. And her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his... Drinking on the dough, huh? <laughs> Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. Of course he would. Uh. What was that? A train? Nice. That race? Open up, open up the safe. Warm, okay, nice, 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 nice. Train passed by. No. Hello? Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Excuse me? Sounds monotonous and recorded. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. I can't believe you. You need to be careful. Cooperate. Mm -hmm. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She yeah. said wrong somehow, but she had called Very me. wrong. Another page. Wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Speaking of business object, wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. Very nice. Okay. Do I dare? I'm gonna dare. That's good. <laughs> Oh, a shed. Shed? That yellow paint? No. Wait. It is, yeah. It's like a colon. Colon? Colon? How do you pronounce that? Depends for me. Either if whatever I feel like, you know. Uh, very nice. Three flares and a battery. Shotgun ammo. 
Revolver ammo. <laughs> That's one of the things I'm just filled me up to. Oh, you missed. I shouldn't have picked up that one revolver ammo. That's fine. It's not like it's uh, gonna keep ammo away from me forever now. No. Tree stump again. Adventures of tree stump. <laughs> it didn't lead to anywhere last time. And I doubt it will this time. Yep. It's gonna let me have a great fall. I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Is this the bridge it was telling me about in the page? I am guessing yes. Follow. Alright. Whatever you say. How would I climb up a ladder with a flashlight? Would I do it like that as well? I have no idea. Yeah, climb up none. <laughs> no, it's a train. Woohoo, train! Never actually been on a train before. I have not ridden on a lot of things. Which might Whoa! Which might surprise all of you. So it's not a pipe this bigger. Just normal size pipe. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger. And it was taking over everything in its path. It's not the size of the pipe that matters, it's the personality. <laughs> I don't know. Uh... Very nice. Mm -hmm. Proud everybody, I'm using my uh, batteries this time <laughs> instead of just um, waiting for it to replenish. Wheelbarrow! Is that the wheelbarrow just unalived itself? <laughs> I know. I know. Alright. Another page! Turn the page. Wake in the dark presence in the lodge. I slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took Nothing guilt? To save this pain. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. I doubt it'd be Nightingale. I don't think it'd uh, be the, the early on. I keep forgetting it's F5 to get out right away instead of As a teenager, escape. just started to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. Mm. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe nice. in a good horror story. So Heavy duty. That's what makes them fun. Nice. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer. You could say that again. It's nice he mentioned Stephen King. I was really excited for that uh, new movie of his, Firestarter. But of course, in my country, or in my city at least, I don't know about uh, like the the main land of Manila. But in my city, if it's not a Marvel movie, if it's not a big name or anything like that, it'll probably not get a showing. It's really sad. But I'll probably try and watch that coffee thermos for one of my movie watch-along streams 
plug for August baby, you all know what month it is. I'm stalling a little, but also just want to take the time to talk before we get barraged with more inanimate objects, probably. Let's go. Give me a coffee thermos. Actually, I don't know for sure if it's going to be more possessed stuff or if it's going to be taken or if it's going to be both. That'd be wild if it's both. Uh -huh, nice. Thank you very much. More flares too. Wow. Wow. The only thing I haven't got more of yet is flashbangs. Where are y'all coming from? Not quite. Oh. getting caught with your pants down. Jeez. <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty tighty. I hate those fast ones that come out of nowhere. Not today, big man. There you go. Pump you full of lead. Cause that's what you want. In light you can hurt them. Yes, thank you yellow paint. I'm aware. That's actually kinda cool. If that's like actual paint. I don't know if there's a term for it or not. Night springs? Heck yeah. I haven't seen some night springs at all. So you can see it closer, I guess. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, yeah. It's a journey. Actually, no. This is cool saying this again after a while. That sounds like a lot of fun. Excuse me, the what? Shh, I love this. so good playing this again on a seal. It's so good. Alright. Page. Almost missed a page. Wow, look at me. Almost. Make attacked by the Dark Presence. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The 
darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Mm -hmm. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Nice. Ah, oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay. I just gave up under us. Is that another page? Oh my gosh, that scared me. Made me shake a little. No! Oh. I don't know why I recharged it right away. It's not a uh, normal baby flashlight. I recharge too much. I forgot you can recharge more than once in this game. Ow. There you go. Heavy metal. Gotta love it. Wasn't there a... There it is. That's it. Think you can just come out of nowhere, huh? You thought wrong. Thank you for the first. I'm missing tens of the max. Because I think I didn't use more than one there. On that bulldozer. Nice. Alright, let's get you on with the shoddy ammo. Come on batteries, thank you. Now we're full on batteries, look at us! With almost all the supplies. Actually, I take this back. Look, look. we got. 13 players now, not just 10. Coffee thermos. So good. Doing? Look at me, collector. Can see almost anything, even though I'm blind most of the time. And get the drive. Let's go. Right falls light and power. Ooh, let's go. I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. Sunrise. Hmm. Alrighty. The coal mine wasn't far now. No, don't have to walk. Well, I guess you can really access most mines through vehicle, so it makes sense to walk. Cutie, if you would mind moving a little away from the mouse, that would be nice. Today, not like I that. I would meet the kidnapper, and he would <laughs> give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning yes. man will clutch at a straw. Definitely. Look at this. Nothing in the inventory or anything like that. Everything is presumably either holstered or gone. Imagine this running away. I can't take it anymore. Is that is that thermos? No, I think it's just a mountain texture. Can we actually walk back a good ways? It's letting me. Wow. Even during daytime, I was being stalked. The bridge must have collapsed only moments after I'd crossed it. Wow. Well, didn't put a coffee thermos on it, sadly. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Let's go back. Good boy. Thank you for moving. I need the space to move the mouse during combat, you know. There you go, stamina regained. Let's run back. And go the actual way we're supposed to go. Go to the coal mine. Looks nice. Doesn't look like the sun's about to set or anything. But since it's a mine, it'll probably be dark, so we should see. Yeah, let us run, baby. Look at that writer's run. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. 
Oh. <laughs> Almost perfect. Almost perfect. I'm still trying to be on the lookout for a page or a thermos, maybe, but... Not showing me anything. Rough road. Already. Probably why he left the pickup there. Here we are. The mining area, probably. Very nice, very nice. Checkpoint. Can I get in this car? Nice. Whoever last used this just left their keys in here. Thank you. Anything here? I don't remember if I shared this in an earlier episode with y'all or not, but the first few builds for Alan Wake, they were wanting to make the game GTA-esque, in a sense where it was open world, you'd have missions to do and stuff like this, and along the way, it morphed into being a psychological thriller. Which is really cool to see this evolution of <laughs> my bad driving. Which will never not be something in a game that will allow me to drive. But yeah, something like this where it would have been really interesting. Like if you look up online like the earlier demos and stuff like that for this game. You'd be driving around Drive, drive Falls. Around uh, Bright Falls and whatnot. There you go. Yes, we are. Let's listen. Before I continue. Say that again, Beth. take a listen to uh, the game's soundtrack. Someone compiled all the songs used in the ends of the episodes and in the radio stuff like this. Compiled it into a playlist on Spotify. It's really good. I definitely recommend it. Alright, I did Jeep. And what I was saying earlier... Yeah, I would very much like to imagine... Uh, what Bright Falls, what Alan Wake's story would be like if it was an open world type of game instead of a somewhat linear horror game. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, I see. Never see a sign. I gotta knock it down. Huh? And here we are. I'm guessing. Actually, no. That's like a, a tower thing. Overlooking the mine. Let's go to it real quick. Can I open up the trunk? No. Next, can I the car do? Open this up. Portable sun septic. And a number. It's not from my place, so can't doubt it. Because that's not how numbers are listed over here. Numbers here. Three first digits, and then the last digits are four. Oh, another one. Nice. Two videos back to back. Welcome back to KBF. Interesting. Hope you enjoyed that too. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were yeah. talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Oh. See, to me, that's strange because I always picked you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there. Interesting. Thing. <laughs> so I think love's where you'll look. 
But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever, and you're forever getting complete. I mean, that's kind of sad. Yeah, that's <laughs> depressing. Yeah. There's plenty of fish in the sea, <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything. But what you're saying isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I what I felt for someone, because oh. she was the one, she was. And she, I let her drift away from I didn't put in the work, I don't know, but well, okay. since then, oh. and it, it was a long time ago, but since then, there hasn't been anyone, not like her, and I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on, I like my life, I'm not living in the past, but I do miss the way she completed me, oh. you can't argue with the heart of that, but yeah, I'm you sorry, can. folks, I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say, it's shaking a few things. Anyway, quick break. This is what I'm referring to all of you. In regards of my boy. <laughs> Look at him. He's trying to take up all that real estate. And instead of taking up the real estate of the CPU, he wants to take up the real estate on the mousepad as well. <laughs> anyway, we'll make do since we're not in combat just yet. Whoa. <laughs> Almost fell down. And broke my neck. Let's take this new car. Thank you. Wh oh. It's just the headlights. I was wondering like, huh, when it seem to like turn on or something. Here we are. The door didn't look open earlier. Hold on. This is why you can't give me something close to a linear experience. Have the option to explore more of the world and expect me not to look at more of the world. <laughs> I'm guessing a thermos, maybe? Maybe? Ooh, it's real bricky. Doesn't seem like a good idea. Doesn't seem like a good idea, but I'm doing it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Page, nice. Even better. Whoa. <laughs> Mutt on the ferry. For Mutt, spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. His boss had made wake up to be something special, but Mutt had been impressed. Huh? Is he Mutt working with. Nightingale? Mutt had fantasized about. Bruh. But it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in it. He'd been promised as much. Excuse me, cutie. Can you move a little there? No. Move. He's not moving. <laughs> He's currently pushing me up against my mouse. There you go. I can hear him scratching a little bit. Yay! Excuse me, child. Can you move? <laughs> I want to be able to use my mouse properly. Thank you. There you go. All right, let's go. Woo! Let's drive off the cliff, straight to the objective. There we go. Bright coal falls by. <laughs> Very good. Parking that way? Not for me. I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. Noon? The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. While well, lucrative at first, the mining steadily declined in the 20th century. The seams were rich but hard to get at, and the volcanic activity in the area made the mine shafts particularly dangerous. Ooh. 
While there were some earlier residents in the area, the true genesis of the town of Bright Falls came with the founding of the Bright Falls Mining Company and the opening of Bright Falls Coal Mine in 1878. Although the work was hard and dangerous, many immigrants, Germans, Poles, Italians, Finns, and Swedes, among others, worked the mines. That's really interesting that they mentioned uh, Finns. The uh, gaming company uh, remotely is based in Finland. Or I want to live one day on back for you. Alrighty. Let's go. Coal Mine Museum. And another page. Gotta love it. You heard me read, now you're gonna hear Alan read again. With night with you gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants wait for a reason, and it's not for anything good. Yeah. He's not done with the sickness, he's done with something else. Alright. I'm early. Look at me. Should we read some more? Sure. In 1970, a volcanic eruption below Colgen Lake, while relatively minor, caused most of the deep mining tunnels to collapse or flood. Or flood. 32 miners lost their lives in the calamity, and all mining around Bright Falls came to a final stop. Now many of the remaining buildings are protected as historical landmarks. Very nice. Into the museum we go. Oh! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Real good transition though. That scored me real good. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. Oh yeah, with nothing, Bill. The new sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Oh, Different yeah. scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of nice. how I tortured the kidnapper to get Alice back, or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. Ooh. Come down, my I boy. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Wow, he waited until like nightfall for his ass. He didn't come. Oh well, I have all my stuff. I'm good. <laughs> Wake. Where the hell are you? Change of plan. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? Ooh, what a tough guy. I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting. Hello? Hello? Ah! I'm gonna kill him! I'd be so annoyed, dude. I had to get to Mirror Peak. Well, the door's not opening, so... Whoa! I was gonna say that... It was close. Maybe closer than ever before. Yeah, I was saying the door is closed, so... Yeah, I guess I do have to go through here. Alright. Cup thermos, thank you. Ammo and stuff, thank you. Yeah, full of batteries. Shotgun ammo. And revolver and full on. Cutie, you better move me, boy. He's really trying to take up most of the mouse pad. It's not cool, man. Caution. Caution is my middle name. <laughs> Whoa. That's a little too much. Alright. Excuse me. <laughs> Thomas Zane in love with Barbara Jagger. When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another so piece of jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. Good for him, you know. Good for him. It's telling me to use the revolver.
Shoot the... There we are. Thank you for the... Mm -hmm. oh! Come on, that barely hit me. Ow. Wait. Wise guy, eh? Any more of you? Guess not. Alright. Flashbang, finally. Nice. It's two more. Excuse me. Behind you, idiot. Gonna say how ass, but oh. I'm winded. Climb. What the hell? What is that anyway? I don't know. Whatever it is. Obey me. Sucker. Here we are. That would have been really unfair. Alright. Excuse me. Whoa. It's like in the nightmare. Like a literal darkness tornado. Lovely. Zoom. Whoa. The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. <sighs> Great. All right. Good drive. What up, suckers? Yeah, yeah. Sucker. <laughs> Can't give me a car, I'll use it to cheese. Crank it. There you go. <laughs> Got a gym for it too, lovely. Didn't even know that gave me one. Alright. Time to turn off the power. Alright. Flare gun? Nice. That's the only thing we we're missing. There we go. No electrocution for me. Good, good, good. Get in, get in, get in. How is that? Oh, oh, oh. Hell no. so much. Hold on. Let's try and get it. There we go. There's another somewhere.
Almost walked into what he was throwing. Yeah, I did that time. I did that time as well. Alright. Alright, couldn't cheese the last bit, but that's fine. <laughs> cheese the car too much. Thank you for your service. Already? Hello. Hello, no. Okay. I was wondering where that cricket was coming from. Wait, no, is this, is this a different place? It just kind of looks like where we were. Hold on. Thank you. Alright. Big touch by the dark presence. Some of the taken retain the echoes <laughs> of their former selves. But these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Mm -hmm. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were not for the purposes of the dark presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the lighter, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. Lovely. Okay. <sighs> Whoa. Whoa there. Oh, thank you. Do I have to go the other way? I don't know. Actually, I thought this was close. Uh, excuse me. I thought that was closed earlier. That's good. Open up the safe. Thank you. That is good. There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. Yeah, I, I read it out. Of, oh. Black goop, nice. This is what I really liked about the first game. You can just lightly sh shine your light. We'll do the rest. 
in American Nightmare you can't really do that anymore you have to really focus your flashlight on it no page no nothing oh, okay. Okay. I'm gonna do it you're gonna actually okay I will not do it <laughs> mainly because it doesn't lead onto the roof it goes nowhere Oh my! Get away! Yeah, back, back, I say. Oh my! I just looked at what battery health I'm at. seconds <laughs> need to get the charger for my thing I'll be back uh, I need to get this in time Turn off the computer. <laughs> Alright, if you hear the little vibrate, feel a little shake or whatever, that's just the charger and the thing. <laughs> anyway. Continuing on. <laughs> Avoided disaster. I would like to be grateful today for extension cords. And longer battery life. <laughs> we can bury in this cell. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Ooh. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bar. Because we were drugged. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. Well, it wouldn't be conspiracy if you did me. <laughs> red barrels, bird, burb. Actually, no, that's not a red barrel. Let's go here. That's there. Once again, yep. You have three dots with the yellow paint. Another chesty. I noticed earlier as well that we got uh, an achievement with the revolver and stuff. Very nice, very nice. And the flare in the back. Our flashbangs. Let's actually equip the flashbangs. Because it wants us to use it! Nice. Don't you look at that. Worked out in our favor. Now then. Oh. Almost jumped down, but I saw this beauty. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Extraordinary. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh -uh. There you go. Went almost gingerly there. Will it be? Okay. I'm gonna heal anyway. It's fine. <laughs> Not as graceful going back, but it's fine. More stuff, thank you, thank you, thank you. So kind. 
Wow. Thank you. I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, Pump. I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Oh, oh, oh. Now we're talking. As much as I love a two shot or a double barrel, give me a pump any day. Rose. Let's go up here. Actually, okay, that is the way we were supposed to go. Let's go over here. Real quick. Mm -hmm. That's on now. Bingo. Gotcha. You love it. Make up your mind. Waypoint. Am I supposed to go here? Am I supposed to go there? Is it blown up? No, it's not. Two for the points of one. I'll go up where I was originally supposed to go up on the left path. Lock. Yeah, that's what you wanted, huh? What I want is more loot. Speaking of loot, coffee thermos. Sunk you. I'll fight him. How was I missing? Excuse me. There you go. At least I get my ammo. Thank you. No matter the game I play, man. My image is atrocious. <laughs> oh, we oh, way too close. <laughs> We're all going to go. He's stuck by the log. Poor guy. Big log. That one song on the. Rock Radio and GTA 5. I can't think of the artist at the moment. I'll probably insert it here somewhere as a gag. Big log. Yeah, why not? I feel like you're gonna throw more at me. Yeah, you are! I thought so. Get the big cheese! Yeah, yeah. Where are you going? Alright. I thought I was gonna have another one sneak up behind me. I thought wrong. <laughs> I thought wrong that time. was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. Crosses in the ground, great. Cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? I hope not. It's definitely going for me. Get ready. Well, I... Well, I guess the ways in which you treat your body because of it. Still, where is it? There it is. Stop. I'm 
Stop it. Dude. It was now. Legit making me dizzy. <laughs> Jeez. This is all normal, guys. Um, and I plan on enjoying Nightmare when I get to unlock it, so. Yay. <laughs> Radio station? Nope. Batteries? Whatever this is. Aha, uh -huh, light. Sweet, sweet light. Thank you. Double checkpoint. Nothing of concern at the moment. <laughs> nope. Oh, ruin. The place was dead. A ghost town. Had yeah. been for decades, maybe a century. Excuse me. <laughs> Didn't have to go do all that. Curious today. Yuki. <laughs> Beacon case. Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. Mm -hmm. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single minded determination, never wavering. Yeah, be like that. You just gotta channel it sometimes. Do something more productive and worthwhile. Okay. Thought someone was throwing stuff at me again. Not yet. Coffee thermos? Thank you. You and curse. You and ski? And that's batteries. I would like some ammo and stuff, please. Texture on the ground. Um, nothing. Okay. Let's get a people. Let me focus on. Oh. There you are. All right, more. Thank you. Listen, you might think there. Stop. One more. Here. Enough. Yeah, that's safe. Water tank to the face twice. <laughs> That's hardly fair. 
At least it didn't. Uh, at least it didn't put us too far back, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come to life. Something driving? What is that? You hear that? It sounded like someone started an engine or something. But it gave me an achievement for a train. <laughs> Thank you. Iron house or something. Nice. Keys to something. Ah. Whoa. <laughs> Can on the ground. Oh yeah, yeah, boom. Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Sane. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake. Using wow, that's true. to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, <laughs> dark things that wait for a chance to slip through. Wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of Lake. Mm -hmm. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. Nice. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. Imagine seeing yourself like that. God, I, I can't imagine. That's cool. I was about to say another episode of Night Springs. Whoa. Do I want to give up the pump though? How much more ammo is it? I like the pump. Take it. Sorry, hunting rifle. Let's go. Didn't really zoom in. That's fine. Climbing on up to the east side. Let's go. More climbing. More climbing. Might come back to hunt me later. Not getting that uh, hunting rifle, but I'll have the revolver as always, of course. Where? The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. Very good. It was telling me to hurry up. You'll get me when I get there. Okay. Tired of your games. Nice. No attack after getting the items. Nice. Not yet at least. Birds, There's birds again. Birds. Not birds on the bridge. Whoa. Birds on the bridge, nope. They're over there. Whoa! Almost fell. I wasn't paying attention where I was walking. <laughs> My goodness. There you go, the birds are flopping and flying. I just paid back for earlier when you were swarming me from going down that mountain. Yeet! Oh, I guess we're going through a mine. This is great air to breathe in. Mine air. I thought that was a little bit better. Nice. <laughs> I'm getting chilly. Light, okay. Oh. I don't like that. Tunnel, what? Tunnels go to Cauldron Lake. 
Yeah, that's where I'm supposed to go. Butcher. Let's go towards the hallucination. Interesting exit, I guess. Yeah. Alice? Alice? He's not actually talking. That's just what happened earlier. Yeah. I'm losing it. I gotta get out of here. Yes. Thank you for the page, though. The hunters were big, thick-set men, confident and at home. With the yeah. <laughs> they were feeling good, plenty of beer, ghost stories, and camaraderie. Beer. Yeah, I'm guessing we don't go down there. Okay, good. This is worth it. At least got myself a page. I wouldn't want to be trekking in a mine like this, though. Let's hear good ways underground. Like I was mentioning earlier, all that really nice airflow. <laughs> Alright. Doesn't look like anything's down there, I think. I don't see anything down there at least. Let me take a little look see. Yep, nothing. Okay. Just making sure you know me. Little bitch. Mm. And again in the majestic. Even behind the closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the majestic. <laughs> grimy. He forced it out of his mind. For all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. You do what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottle in his hand. Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. Not only is he an a hole. Good. He's a great big a-hole. Oh. Great. I threw the wrong thing. Whoa. Goodness. No. Pushing myself for the long haul, baby. Let's get it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Mm -hmm. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Already, machinery puzzle. Let's get it. As long as nothing attacks us. Too much. That 
maybe? Ha ha. Maybe. Yeah, 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 whoa. This way? Now all the way up. Okay. Take it. Some letter over here. Nice. Look at me. I'm usually not good with this uh, kind of stuff. But uh, this kind of stuff usually involves stuff like colors to mix around, numbers to go around, stuff like that, certain sequences or whatever. Not a little There we go. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Almost not good. Ah, uh -huh. nice. Now I can put it all the way up. This. Nice. Get a little bit. All right. All righty. Here we are. You have exited. Get down. Mind the bobbing. We're almost... What's up? Some sort of... Hot looking thing, I don't know. I don't even know what to call that. <laughs> A look at maybe? An extension to the mine? I don't know. Page! Very nice, look at me. Getting all these pages, baby. Tor hits Nurse Sinclair. Lightning flash behind the windows of Colin's lodge. Mm -hmm. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above. Steel. Oh. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned badly and shouted, My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Molnir, wench. <laughs> he brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's Bruh. Head. We're on a comeback tour, baby. Oh. Kidoki. We're close question mark, but that's real cool. Wow. Take a screw get that. Bit nice. Thank you. Lovely screen get. I'll have more I don't have the shotgun at the moment. Wouldn't have expected ammo in the salt mine anyway. Alright, at least it's the burbs. At least it's the burbs. Could be much worse. Alright, so say again. Huh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more birds. More birdsies. Go go go. Haven't had used the flare gun on them yet, but I guess I might have to. I'm just not good at sensing which side they're coming from. Oh, 
Burbies. <laughs> Was close, <laughs> way too close for my liking. Thank you. Right. Smoke coming out something. Interesting. Hunting rifle again? No, thank you. It really wanted me to take the hunting rifle. I knew. Could have guessed as much. We don't have time for y'all. Um, Holland buttocks. Bye bye. Hold your leg. from them I love it all right okay let's go with my initial idea of running can't run okay only once walk Tell me twice. Thank you. As long as I hear that breath, that's a good sign. Can get some sort of ammo. Almost ran across. Because <laughs> I thought there was a bridge there. Alright. Mod and check. Mod. There'd been no sign of the way. Interesting. It was dark when they found their car parked at the end of the road by Calder Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn. But there was no sign of them. And the car had been there for hours already. Mm -hmm. Frustrated, Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. That's very interesting. Both of us got to experience that and then, yeah. It's just the thing where... We're slept, slept. We're swept up into the stuff with the darkness. No. All right. Good thing I saw this as I was about to jump off. <laughs> wow. Strong man. I would not be able to do that. Like honestly. Kick it. Yeah. Probably bang up my shoulder or do that or something. Something said. <laughs> Stairs lead to nothing. Great. 
Another dark air. Tom? I curse you, Tom Zane. Let me see, Tom. Did you write this? You talk to me on TV. Shotgun ammo, finally. I'll charge it forever. Why can't I have both? Actually, no. It's 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 fine. Do not have two, like real big weapons. <laughs> That'd be overkill, I think. Make it too easy. Goodness. All right. <laughs> All righty then. I was expecting all that. Jeez. Sheesh. <laughs> That's what I really like about this game, dude. Like, even though I watched this like into its completion years and years ago, it's almost like I could seeing see it for the first time again. I thought I could make with almost fresh eyes. The island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. Interesting. How far away are we from Mirror Peak? I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. Yes, yes, yes. Wakes up in the village. I tried to hold on to Alice, but her form melted away. I was losing control. Dr. Hartman stood in her place. I wanted to hit him. <laughs> Excuse me, for a while? How long is that a while? Should have listened to all that, but it's fine. Excuse me, what did you say, Ho? Whoa, there's a lady from the diner. Ooh. Why oh, pick up flare? the water again. Ooh. That was a hard sounding fall too. I 
That's it. Episode three. Wow. Oh, this is the one song I don't fancy that much, but it's fine. It fits. Well, I have to. Previously on Alan Wake, I'm haunted by the law. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna play two episodes, don't worry. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. Mm -hmm. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped. But that was a lie. Yeah. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. Yeah. <laughs> Episode four, the truth, baby. We'll get the truth soon. Alan. Shh, baby. Okay, just, just like the now. bitch. Alice. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a set. Such a big you went through another rough period. What? Right now it's very important that you stay calm. I don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. Death your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. Just, Just let go. 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 Yikes. Just got the shit. <laughs> yeah, I got shivers from that, jeez. Oh boy. I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we'll end it off there. Thank you all so much for joining me on this edition of Alan Wake. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and all that goody goody. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified for our all videos that will come up onto the channel. Very good pronunciation by me. I'll see you in the next episode of Alan Wake. Thank you. And goodbye.